Everyone keeps asking me, when am I going to go for my fifth black belt in the keto? And my answer nowadays is when Steven Seagal gives me one. So, you've actually met the man. Yeah. Let's hear about everything you know about Steven Seagal, what you think about his Aikido, what you think about of his, his early movies. I want to hear about and was let's he go, Let me preface it with this. Everybody looks at Steven Seagal now and the whole thing that happened with the UFC with the front kick and all that nonsense. Okay. They look at Steven and they say, oh, this guy, this guy's a joke. And they look at his Aikido and they go, oh, this guy's a joke. They're only 70 years old. Did Steve all used he used all cops for security. He, he became a cop in uh in, down in Louisiana. I was down there uh down there in uh after Katrina. I did a rest, uh, rescue and recovery uh after Katrina. And uh that was the same place that he was a cop, same district. He was a cop down there. Anyway, I met him there, so uh I was like, Oh, I'm a judo guy, I do karate, Japanese jitsu. So He's like, oh, you should come hang out, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, I was working for him a little bit. So uh, I would do some do some hours at his house and got to train with him a little bit. If he grabs your wrist, you either roll or you broken wrist. So if he, he grabs was, your arm, he was he was pretty nice. He was roll. pretty nice and respectful right away. Very nice, bro. Very nice. And he has a lot of people coming up to him, but I was a cop. I was also a martial artist. You know, I was uh, I mean, the East Coast champion at the time in karate. Uh, yeah. 84, 85, I was East Coast Karate Champion. 94, 95, I was East Coast Judo Champion. 99, I won the World Masters. Uh, 2005, I bronze. I mean, you know, we would do local tournaments every weekend. We would fight every weekend. So, Seagal, does he give you his number or what? Like, you have a nice interaction when he first... Well, I knew he was driving. He was like, oh, you, you know Billy? I said, yeah, I know Billy. So, he's like, oh, but Billy, bring him to the house sometime. All right. So, so... so What's the first time you go over to his house like? We invited in, we'd come in, talk, coffee, hanging out. Uh, we had to go somewhere, so we went, we did a, we did a run. And then he was like, oh, you want to work out a bit? And he threw me around like a rag doll. Seriously? Oh, yeah, like a rag doll. Like a rag doll. I mean, it's not like you were unfamiliar with the no. keto stuff because you're a Japanese jiu guy. Face, but and you're a judo guy. And you're a karate guy. If he grabs you and he's gonna throw you back then. We're not BSing here just for the video. You're being legit. No, no, dude, this is legit. I, I don't lie. I got no reason to lie. So what? Where were you get? You weren't like sparring, but like were you showing each other techniques or? Uh, well, it was more him showing me techniques and me. You know, this you, you're at a, a front row. I've trained with some of the greatest martial artists in, in the East Coast at the time. And you got to remember, and here's what I want to preface that I was going to say before with the kids that you see now. He's 74, you know, he's in his 70s, yeah. but it was a different time back then, too. You didn't have MMA. Now, Stephen, to his credit, he's a black belt in judo, too. He's got he's black, black belts, belt. like he's got black belts in karate. He started in karate. In fact, in fact, I have literally, literally wrist locked people, throwing them out of bars. I just realized, and the very same, the wagon wheel in Lansing, Lansing area, Michigan, in the very same place where he was a dishwasher as a teen and met his first martial arts instructor, his karate instructor. The very same place, the wagon wheel. I literally, at eighteen to 22, 23 years old, whatever, when I was at university, oh, yeah. off and on, I've thrown people out of the very same restaurant slash bar slash bowling alley that he was a dishwasher and met his first karate instructor. Yeah. Unbelievable. Also, guys, these guys talk a lot of trash about Steve, you know, and he's a star and, you know, he, Steven can have an attitude. I'm not going to deny that. You know, okay. I'm not here, I'm not here to defend him. I'm here just to tell the truth. I liked the guy. I liked the guy a lot. I thought he was a great guy. So the first time you you at his house or a dojo or whatever, he's showing you techniques. What what did you feel? What did I feel? Yeah, uh, he had control. As soon as he grabbed you, he had control of it. He was able to lead you. You know what I'm saying? He was able to lead you. His his I, I like his tension tension. I came from Aki Jiu Jitsu, right? Okay. So my Jiu Jitsu was very very combat based, but Stephen, that style of tension rule. Is very very street oriented, very very street oriented. So, 
it fits in. You, but if you have a, you have to have a good base in other martial arts in order to make. The well, shoot. I think for to make the Aikido, the Daito Ruaki Jiu Jitsu, the Japanese Jiu Jitsu work, I think you should first study Judo because it judo. gives you the strong spine. That's my point. And the strong base. That's my point. That's my point. I did it backwards. I did it Japanese Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If I was to do it now, it would be and wrestling. It would be Japanese. It wouldn't be Japanese. It would be Judo first as a kid. Get your kids into judo or wrestling. Judo or wrestling. Get your kids into judo or wrestling, then Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and then add in the self-defense. Okay, so let me get you back to Seagal because I want you. You got firsthand experience. Nobody else has. So you said he felt like when he, if he got a hold of you, he owned you. Can you describe that in a jiu-jitsu term? Does that mean he has a very strong center? He's a tall very guy. He, he never bends over. And if very you watch strong. his movies. He's throwing guys around with a strong spine strong and a strong base, which means in Aikido type terms, he has a very strong center. And his movement, and here's what you can't see, guys, and if you don't know, the reason why the Hakama are there is to hide the foot movement. All his strength comes from his movement of his feet, not his hands. Which is also timing and base and rooting on the ground. It all goes into it, but it's his movement. Steve, if he got a hold of you, you were going for a ride. If you didn't go for the ride, you're going to be going to the doctor because you're you're going to have a torn you know torn rotator cuff. Do you remember? Torn, I torn recently did a video that everyone should watch, trying to break down the techniques of Stephen Skull's early fight scenes from five movies. And what did he do on you? Because in his vid in his movies, early videos, all the the good the great movies from the early days. And if you also look at the awesome showing his technique, well, I, 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 don't know all, I don't know all the, the Japanese terms, but because the, the, uh, it's been a long time. But um, the, the, the Koti Gaish. Okay. Uh, like Nikyo or Ayadori, too? You know, well, he does the the, the, uh, the clothesline. Eriminagi. Eriminagi. Like it's so the Gary, but with the Eriminagi. Yeah. yeah. Eriminagi. Dude. <laughs> I was. Talk about wow! I'm he, on a little the way, way he yeah. does it is he takes your head off, but he slams you right down into the earth. Right down, it's, yeah. It's on not the, back the flowing way that the Aki Kai guys. You know, it's like a judo throw. It's, it's just like a soda guy. It's like a soda guy. Which the Collier brothers mentioned on one of my videos uh, when I used to talk to them a lot. They said, "Yeah, it's a great learning tool. It's a great teaching method. It's just like a soda guy." When I do my soda guy in the street, I do it like Hermanagi. Or in Sistema, it's the breaking structure and the head tilt, or World right. War II combatives, Fairbane psych stuff. Fairbane it's all the psych. same. That's what I learned from. That's what I learned from. And he, he seems Stephen really like Katanagi, the head and arm throw, which I say is probably right. yeah. I have a top three Aikido uh, techniques every cop and martial artist should learn video. People should check out Katanagi head and arm spin. Uh, he also likes Shomenate, uh, the throat, the throat, the throat shove technique, and the Yubi Dori. And you be Dory the finger lock. You be Dory. And for the police department, for a real fight in the street, you be Dory's. The, if you break a guy's fingers, fight's over. So you be Dory's great. So 100%, Steven Seagal's Aikido is legit, especially not now as a 70 year old man. If you look at him in the 70s, What's Path this, Beyond bro? Thought and three the guys man. coming to attack him. I want to yeah. hear you say it, Ray, with your Jiu Jitsu black belt, your Judo black belt, your Japanese Jiu Jitsu black belt, your karate black belt. Is Steven Seagal's Aikido legit or not? Legit. Legit. 100% legit. 100% legit. Steven's legit. That, that was out for justice, which has justice, yeah. some of the good in it. Not out for justice. That was Chicago. It was, uh, no, that was above the law. So it was out for justice, yeah. We yeah, out for parade. justice was in New York. Yeah. and. That's so the movie that I think has a good script that I want to do a, I don't want to say remake, but let's say an homage type film to with some of the real guys, you know, I, I maybe, you know, I, I know some of the real guys and maybe I'm going to get them in the movie too. Maybe they're yeah, going to produce. Okay. So yeah, with Steve, I, that's pretty much it. You know, I got to work with him for a few months and going to back and forth on the set and got to train with him a little bit Got to train with him a few times and, and, but he was legit bro and a nice guy. And Kelly, you couldn't ask for nicer. You couldn't ask for nicer. So, Steven Seagal, when are you going to give Dan the Wolfman his fifth black belt in tension to keto? Can we work <laughs> out? I'm the guy I'm the guy showing that these wrist locks and stuff and these standing arm locks, 
bent uh, Udi Garami elbow crank, uh, Russian two on one. I'm the guy out there showing I can do it against jujitsu guys, judo guys, wrestling guys, professional MMA fighters. So, Stephen, I want to meet you, sir. Sensei Seagull, I'm willing to see if you're, if Ray says you're legit, I know you're legit. 